Hi, John here. Today we're going to talk about a run of the river hydroelectric power station and I'm going to explain to you what it is and how it works in about three minutes. You can see the water coming in at the top here. It flows around this direction, comes around the corner and back down the bottom. The water at the top is known as the headwater and the water at the bottom is known as the tailwater. So the lower elevation here is the tailwater and the upper elevation on the right hand side is the headwater. The difference in height is known as the head of pressure and we're going to use this difference in height to get the water to flow down through a pipe here and into the power station. So let's have a quick look now at some of the main components. The water flows along here and it gathers in this area which we'll call pondage. The pondage area is used to store a small volume of water that we can divert towards the power station. We have a weir. The weir is used to change the flow characteristics of the river itself. So it's not a dam. It doesn't stop the water flowing completely and build a reservoir behind it. It allows the water to continue flowing. Dam type power stations have a much larger reservoir, whereas run of the river power stations have no reservoir whatsoever, which makes them a little bit more environmentally friendly. Because they have no reservoir, the amount of electricity they can generate depends upon the season. In spring, there'll be a lot of water in the river as the ice and snow melts, and in winter time, all that water will be frozen and the water level in the river will drop. So we can't generate any electricity. So it's very seasonal dependent. Let's have a look now at some of the other components. We can see here a trash rack. I'll just go under the water so we can see it a little bit better. This is a trash rack or a grate. This will separate bits of plastic and wood and other bits of rubbish and stop them being sucked into the turbine inlet. We've got a sluice gate which we can close in an emergency or just for general control. Now let's go through the wall. And we can see the pipe coming out here. It's coming out of the wall and down to the power station. This is known as a penstock. We'll follow the penstock under the power station and it will lead to the turbine. The water comes in here, it goes into a volute casing and then it will drop out the bottom along this pipe here and out. This pipe is known as a draft tube and the water exiting out of the draft tube is known as the tail race. Let's have a look inside the volute casing and see what kind of turbine we have. This type of turbine is known as a Kaplan turbine. It looks a lot like a ship's propeller. So the water is going to come in through the pipe here on the left hand side. It's going to flow around the casing and down through the hole. As it flows past this Kaplan runner, we call this component here, this entire assembly, the runner, it's going to cause the runner to rotate. The runner itself is on a common shaft to a generator. That's the generator. So as the runner rotates, it's going to rotate a rotor inside a generator and we're going to generate electricity. Once we've generated electricity, we can then distribute that to a transformer and into the national grid and we'll deliver it to our homes. And that is essentially how a run of the river hydroelectric power station works. If you get a chance, go and check the model out on the website. Please feel free to share this video on social media. And if you really want to support us, check out our Patreon page. Thanks very much for your time.